Right now I'm kind of just looking for an area where we can actually dig a trench. I'm just here at the sort of base camp we've got. And I think there's a spot over here where we can dig the trench. So I'm going to head this way a couple of meters and see if I can find the spot. This is the area I was just talking about. And look at that, no trees at all. It's just a clear open bowl compared to like over there. But it kind of like dips down. I'm thinking if we make the trench along there, let's scrape off all these leaves and see what the roots are like underneath. Let's get digging. Well, let's get scraping these leaves away. There's this um, annoying branch across the top of our trench. So we should test out the cutting capabilities of this shovel. Where this log is, is going to be the front of the trench. But I'm going to start digging and I think I'm going to start with about that wide of a trench. First scoop of dirt. I was just thinking as I did that first couple of scoops, where the heck do I put this dirt? But I think I'll put it here and level out this hill so it doesn't go under the log like that. And from that log to that bit of dirt that you can see just there, this will all be flat. And we'll build some kind of wall across here. So this log that just happened to fall here is perfect for our trench. Let's keep digging. If we unscrew this, we can fold our shovel over. Check it out, we have a trench, <laughs> well not really, it's only tiny at the moment, almost a foot deep, and there's all the dirt we've moved, but I kind of had to stop because we need to add a retaining wall here so that we can dig here and put dirt behind there and it will push forward and that will be flat. So I might have to go get some wood for that. Check it out. Oh yeah. We're getting deep. If you look up there, that's all the dirt we've moved. Quite a bit. Like, more than you'd expect from such a small hole. And you can kind of see the layers there. So, we need to get these pigs in ASAP. Because that dirt's already coming back into our trench. And if we jump in here, if I put the shovel in the deepest part, about that much sticks out. That's what's left of an old fence. And that fence gets turned into these battens, basically. And because these are rubbish now, we can use them for our trench, which is awesome.
Sweet. There we go. There we go. That'll do. Now it's time to drive these into the ground. And of course the dog has to lie right in the middle of where I'm trying to work. There's been a change of plans. I haven't been able to hammer this in. So we're going to have to dig a hole for it. So I've been doing a bit of digging. Can't even see the bottom, but if I put the spade in there, it's about that deep. Just sharpened a new one. Because that one broke when I was trying to hammer it in. Now. Just rammed that with this. Only took like one or two minutes. And holy moly. Another hole. Another pole. There we go. The first piece. And there we go. The first little wall of many complete. Now we can scrape this dirt back. Oh yeah, this is awesome. All with that little shovel. I'm gonna have to get back at it tomorrow because I'm running out of light. So as you can see, we've been doing some digging. I actually have to jump to get in here now, which is awesome. And we're going to widen it out again, so that we have more space. Then we're just going to keep going down. And then once we have kind of a wide, deepest trench, we'll be able to dig up that way. Right up to there. So it'll be much longer that way. And over here, we'll dig right up to there. 9.27 now, so it's been 27 minutes, and check out our trench, jump in, you can see that the trench is about one shovel wide, if we look at the side of our hole, we can see the dark dirt that's on top, then it kind of starts changing, and it goes super orange, and then you get to the bottom, where it's still orange. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll be back later on this week or next week, or maybe even tomorrow. See you then.